If I had to describe myself as a woman or a leader, I would say three things. I think I'm energetic, empathetic, and really value-driven. Everything I want to do is about delivering more value, whether it's at home or at work. I would describe myself as a compassionate woman who is a mother and a wife, and I am a mindful leader, and I try to be present in my leadership. I'm honest, uh, I have integrity, and I try to lead by example. Fierce with an indomitable spirit and somebody who is incredibly positive with a sense of integrity in my work. The most difficult thing I had to overcome in getting to where I am right now is really the, the stigma of others. It's how others think and perceive people who look like me, act like me, speak like me, whatever that may be. For me, I found that putting that aside, not making that a focus and just kind of running my own race keeps me on track. The ability to manage my time for both my family and my business, it's a challenge trying to have the right amount of time. As a business owner, there are many uh, areas that I have to focus on and also raising a family of uh, two young boys. You know, naturally I'm just very hard on myself. I feel like I'm in a perpetual state of training. So it's taken a lot of, um, you know, stepping out of being very self-critical to believing that, you know, I'm the best person for this job. I was actually struggling and navigating my way through postpartum depression. Um, when I had my son about nine years ago, I was in a place where I was loving my job, loving what I did, and then becoming a mother. And it was so hard for me to understand what that meant as a mom, what that meant as a leader in the community, and what that meant for the future of my career. Be bold, be courageous, and put your hand up. No one's going to know you want it if you don't declare it. So go out there and declare it. Make decisions from your gut and from what feels good and not from a place of your ego. Uh, don't be afraid to reach out to mentors who might seem unreachable at first. Also surround yourself with women um, who are successful and are in leadership positions, but also men who are forward thinking and support women in leadership positions. Take your place, own the space, but always do it with style, humor, smarts, and grace. That's what I think of almost every single day. I'm Claudette McGowan, and I mean business. I'm Lee Mitchell, and I mean business. I'm Shizayoki, and I mean business. I'm Rowena Santos, and I mean business.